love, betrayal, all kinds of crazy stuff. Have mercy. Solving crime takes a little down-home justice. I will hunt you down and I will make you pay. And a whole lot of Southern charm. You are but a peasant in this vast kingdom called woman. Meet television's coolest new cop, Memphis Beat. All new Tuesday at 10 on TNT. We know drama. When you're a part of wide open coverage on TNT, you don't miss any of the action. And unfortunately, this action involving A.J. Allmendinger bringing out our third caution of the night. Yeah, and he was, he just, I don't know if he came off the corner and got loose or got Come tapped in the rear. He just shot out of the pack right here. You see him right here, 31 behind him. He tucks down under. The 18 comes off the wall and they just get together right there. And, and, and part of this is you see the racetrack still a little damp here as he's sliding and this thing begins to slide. He's in the gas trying to make it do something, but there's no grip on that wet racetrack, and he just slides into the inside wall. Yeah, what happens is he tries to stay off the 18. You can see him cut down on the 18, and as he's cutting down, he's getting loose, and, and him and the 18 made contact. It was Bobby Labonte that went right behind Allmendinger as he slid inside, down. Inside. Watch the inside lane. And the 18 did in front of you, stay where you are, just keep coming. Caution's out, caution. Right in there with Jeff Burton, and now the other end of this business, trying to repair the car so we can continue on. Best career finish for AJ was here in 2009 in the Daytona 500, and he had been on quite a roll lately in 2010, but he will be a driver that won't figure into the finish here this evening. I don't think I'd want to drive that, do you? I, I don't want the spoiler that far down, but it'd be good for qualifying. <laughs> for one lap. <laughs> one lap. To prove his love for flame broiling, Tony Stewart's going from behind the wheel to behind the register. Welcome to Burger King. Can I take your order? He's working at a real BK to sell the Smoky Cheddar Steakhouse XT. Starting line? finish line. for training to be doing this and you guys are sending me up here to the wolves watch tony clock in to sell the smoky cheddar steakhouse xt july 19th cool. uh, he just turned us kyle bush into the wall will bring out our fourth caution of the night and there was no question he got turned wow yeah he said there was definitely no question there yeah, all right kyle he's got his neck down before the car's even stopped he is hot yeah kyle bush leading this race Caught a big break early after okay, having Kyle. to make an unscheduled pit stop. And, and, and you know, that's kind of... He's okay, he's getting out. Uh, he's going he's to be looking for the guy who turned him, I believe, which is going to be the 42 car. Juan Pablo Montoya the was behind Kyle Busch, but was not on the lead lap. You remember, he had pitted under green, so... But these guys have new tires, and these guys have... Some are, some are on new, and some are on old. And as we see these guys... You see the 18 get the run, and right, they just hook bumpers right there. <laughs> wow. That's hard. How can you hook bumpers going down the back straightaway? I, let's, I'd like to say, I want to see this angle, because you see one going over to him and Kyle coming up. That's, you hook bumpers when both people are crossing <laughs> yeah, each other. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> one's going left and one's going right. <laughs> right. I'm not, you know, that, that's a bad deal, but I, I think the 18 thought he was cleared, and the, and. I don't know what the 42 was thinking at that time, but the, you know, it's going for the same place on the racetrack, but that's definitely, it, it, it always amazes me at Daytona, we have so many crashes in the middle of the straightaways. I know. And we really do. We have so many crashes in the middle of this super stretch over here. You see the 11 down below the line trying to get out of the way, and they just hook right there. Happens virtually every time we come here. It's gonna create for some interesting situations. Is your right outside you? Kyle here. Too wide here, just two. Corner. Hanging on your corner. Oh, he just turned us. 42 just turned us. And, and, and 
you, you hate to bring this up, okay, but it's kind of the same situation that the 18 did to the 11 the other day in practice. They just hooked bumpers. Yeah, all right, Kyle. They were crossing each other. Kevin Harvick, one of those that had made a pit stop the first one lap down. He will receive the free pass as we get one more look at the accident that has brought out our fourth caution of the night. You see Denny looking in the mirror. He's pulling way out of the way because he sees he's got four wide. And I think the 18 thought he had a good enough run right. where he was going to clear the 42. The race leader is Jeff Burton. Here come the leaders down pit road. And you know, Tony and those guys. Kenseth oh. sideways off oh. the corner. What a how save. How that what was not a wreck. I have no idea how that wasn't a wreck. That is phenomenal. I, I don't think you can overemphasize how, how phenomenal that was because when you saw that smoke, he was headed down the racetrack. We got to see that one again. Yeah. We, As we Kenseth see was it. making that save, Jeff Burton able to get around Jeff Gordon for the race lead. Here it is again. He just got loose and he hung on. And I'll tell you what, everybody behind oh, him did a great job, great too. Great job. You look at the one car and the nine car, they all checked up. Everybody behind them checked up and gave him plenty of room to save it. I'm telling you, man, that's amazing. Riding with Tony Stewart on the inside lane. There's Three wide here to the bottom. The wall. <clears throat> now, clear, this, clear, clear, clear. Everything's good. Be safe. This should be a good angle. Oh, this yeah. is a great angle. Hello. Tony Stewart right there is down. looking in the mirror, thinking there's a caution and they just eliminated <laughs> half the pack. <laughs> Let's get more with Matt. Go inside. Put and that, and clear low, clear that save even impressed Jimmy McMurray. He came on the radio and said, man, that was unbelievable. And Spotter said, thank you. Yeah, hey, but I, I, Matt, when, when Tony gives out the Stewies at the end of the year, his awards, that gets an award for the save. He must have a flat tire. He, he must have some issue here. You see, Matt? Slowing down, getting behind the pack. Yeah, that may that may have what put him up there to begin with. Yeah, a couple laps ago. And the 09 500 prop uh, 500 winner has certainly had his fair share of problems here tonight. You saw him weaving a little bit as he came down the pits. Ralph, there he's been screaming about a flat tire. His brakes are glowing hot inside those tires too. He's screaming about flat tires. Six, four new ones. He's underway. He took two, I think, on that yeah. one, did he? He took two. That, that, I'll tell you what, that right front, when they pulled that right front off, he, he obviously run down the back. Oh! And here's a big one. David Reagan in the wall. McMurray and Truex get a piece of it. Wow. Too bad. A couple of good, real good race cars that were running up front up there most of the day are now done. And a break for Kenseth. They just made that pit stop under caution. We look at what happened once again. Reagan gets just right. dead sideways loose, and I'm sure these guys just uh, stack up behind him. Yeah, uh, Jamie McCurry had nowhere to go, and neither did Truex. No. Those were two innocent victims of, the, of that crash. But again, at Daytona, when you get a guy that gets sideways or crashes in front of you, how it, it, most most of the time somebody else so, gets involved. And, and, and I hate to say this, but that's almost exactly the accident that happened in the first practice session with Reagan with David Reagan. He goes in the almost corner. The same he gets spot. Almost the same spot. He turns down into the corner. He took out the 18 and, and, and a couple of cars in that one that was, were involved in that accident. But that was, I mean, he just turned in the corner. When he turned in, it just turned out from under him. These Fifth guys, caution of the night. These guys did a great job behind him. You see as these guys, the 77 gets by. He's sideways right there, catches that. Yeah, this is usually a 15 car wreck. Yeah, these guys did a great job. Uh, but but I, I think everybody's driving a lot farther ahead tonight than what they usually are yeah. because they're expecting this. You see these guys down on the apron going back up and forth. Joy Logano, great, great job of, of avoiding that. And behind these guys, Casey Kane trying to 40. get slowed down to avoid the accident, down, down, got a down. piece of the wall. And, and, he really the pit road. and he couldn't go down. There, no. there was nowhere for, for, for Jamie to go. There was no. cars on the low side, so. Yeah, you're clear low. They're wrecking. Stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low, stay low. Get low, 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 low. Guess he wanted him to go low. I, I think he wanted him to go low, but I mean, when the guy's screaming at you, you're doing all you can. You know what I mean? Message was delivered. Yeah. Not sure if it was received. So that means we will get pit stops under caution at lap 118. Let's go down to Matt Yoakum. I tell you what, guys, the one thing that I'm looking, they all pitted on lap 118. That's 42 laps to go. Now, it would be a far-out shot that we will go caution-free to the end of this thing 
but that puts all of these guys just right on the outside of that window of being able to make it. Here's what I also see when I look, look at our top 10 guys, with the exception of Kurt Busch in the two, Kevin Harvick in the 29, almost everybody up there is looking for either their first career win or their first win of 2010. Can you say hungry? The Coke Zero Fan 400 happening right now online. Trouble. Yep. And there it is. David Strimmy goes around. You okay there, David? Sixth caution flag of the night. I got to lose either. I don't know. Something happened there. That's pretty big. That's Robert Richardson Jr. sliding through the grass. And everything Larry just talked about just went out the window. Exactly. You know what I mean? We're way above a thousand. And, and that's the way it goes. And that, that's what that's what happens with these things. You know, you try to figure and you try to calculate, and, and this is already in progress. You see, he's already out of, out of he's already loose. He gets down on the apron, goes back up the racetrack uh, from just, and, and that's just correcting. You're trying to, to catch the car at that point in time. These guys did a really good job of avoiding him right here. Oh, somebody just the, got into him right there. 71 of Mike Bliss able to get through unscathed, but Robert Richardson Jr. not so lucky. Uh, Robert just got caught in the right rear as, as Strimmy came back down the racetrack. Good to see David Strimmy outside the race car. And you heard Strimmy say, I don't I don't know what. You know, he, he started to explain it, and then he's like, I don't and know why. Something just around. happened. He's trying to figure out yeah. what, you know, he said, man, did a tire go down? Did yeah, a wheel but, come off or what? Yeah, but let's be honest. Kyle Busch came in and said he thought he had a, a loose wheel. You saw Matt Kenseth, one of the best drivers out here, come in, think he had a flat right rear. So uh, these guys, this racetrack's just so slick and so rough right now. It's given these guys a feeling sometimes that they've got an issue. Yeah. Do, do we have a lucky dog on this one? Kevin Conway. Conway. Wow. Should put 31 cars on the lead lap. And these pit stops will come with just over 20 laps to go. Ralph Shaheen. And they're all on a level playing field, something we haven't always seen throughout the night. We're about to find out. What's around the next corner in this race at Daytona? Green flag back in the air. 19 laps remain. I think I think Kevin got what he wanted. Yeah. Uh, they just weren't as strong as yeah. those two bottom cars. Uh, because Boyer looked like he was right on his bumper and just laid on him, just really knocked him up there. Just kind of kind of tried to push him. Making it work now. Here they are. Oh, we got problems in the back of the pack. Elliot Sadler, and it looked like Matt Kenseth. Mark perhaps and there's Mark Martin on the inside of the track yeah, and they run into somebody or something's thrown up see the caution out for the ends. seventh time both ends of that thing something we should point out that Tony Stewart who has been a yo-yo tonight started the back of the field worked his way up led some laps He's another driver now at the tail end of the pack being scored 23rd here's a replay of what happened you ride with Tony Stewart Wow. You know, and the one thing about that could have been a lot worse, but they really weren't up to speed completely. No, Matt and the, and the I don't know if Matt and the, and the five got together or the five turned left because Matt goes up. You can see the right rear corner where he slammed the wall and the five comes down on the bottom uh, and everybody kind of drives between them. There's the 18 all, all knocked in. Maybe the five got into him. And the 16, yeah. Greg Biffle looked like he might have also trying to avoid the accident, got a piece of the wall. Yeah, it, it's hard to say. It was already in progress, and it's hard to... When, when you look at the damage on three different cars and you try to put them together like a puzzle, it, it's really hard to tell where it started or how it ended up. Harvick looked like he wanted to slide down in line behind Burton. Thought better of it. Stays with Boyer, his other teammate. And they lead in the high groove. I think Burton's for now. 
I think Burton's decided he wants to win the race. <laughs> you know I mean? He's not I, playing by the team yeah, rules any longer. I, I, I'm telling you, you know, because, I mean, there, there, there you were. You were three in line, everybody behind you that, that way, and he pulls out. But he pulls out because he feels like that's the only way he's going to get to the front. He's got to pass his teammates. What do you think, Larry? Hey, guys, I worked for Richard Childress for four years. He had two simple rules. You don't help someone beat your teammate, and for Pete's sake, don't wreck your teammate. <laughs> I got to believe RC's a nervous wreck right now. His car is running good, but very close together on the track. Well, they can block the track right now if they yeah. wanted to. Oh, I'm telling you. Oh, hang on, oh, Jeff Burton. Oh, oh, Burton up flat. into Hornish. Oh, he's going to come back out now the big one. There it is. Seven, eight, nine cars involved, many which were running inside the top ten. And that's the whole field, isn't that's it? That's the whole oh, field. And look at that. Nowhere to go. And these guys were trying to avoid the two coming back up on the racetrack, and the first group that saw them check up, and everybody pal runs in behind them. That is massive right there. That's incredible. I don't think I've seen a wreck like that. I don't know, that's us. a long time that, since I've seen that, that many cars there in a wreck. There was a Bush race or a nationwide race down here in turns three and four, and they piled up about 30 of them down there one time. These cars, that was wicked. Mark Martin got a piece of the action. There's you see Tony, Tony Stewart. Stewart. Yeah. Saw Reed Sorensen driving through. Wow. And, and, and like Kyle said, watch the two car. Everybody's expecting the two car to come back up the racetrack because that's what happens. When you get in the grass, you're coming back. He, he just goes diving down here after he gets clobbered by the 31. On the 83, okay, this started already behind when the 83 yeah. got turned. But but they see that going on in front of them, and they're yeah. all jockeying for position to avoid that. And and it, it's that chain reaction accident, you know what I mean? Look at the cars, man. There's a lot of cars in that accident. Menard did a great job. He got up on the high side and kind of got around them. But these guys, all these cars have damage here. You, you see the first group when you... Don't pay attention to what the two cars doing. Watch everybody behind him because this is where the wreck. Well, see what see happened. The, the 83 checked up, the 12 checked up, and it looked like Montoya got into the back of somebody. And yeah, but it, 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 there's nothing you can there's do no, about it. Yeah. I mean, it's just like you said, it's Look a chain fire. reaction. The five car came in yeah. on fire. That was see Mark climbing out right there. You see some of his crew members running over to help him. the Lowe's guys come over and get him out. That's pretty cool right there, man. Mark was already piling out. You can see he's on hook. And the safety crews were actually coming from the garage area yeah. to help extinguish the fire. It's been a rough night for Mark Martin. So one more yeah. time we look at the accident. It happened with 12 to go. Yeah, the 12 and the, and the it looked like the, I don't know how they got together, but the 83 and the 12 were at the front of that pack. And it, look at these guys. They're packed in there. Montoya's headed backwards, and, and you can't see. I mean, they, they kind of slide out of the way, but they're four deep and packed on top of each other, and they're still coming in behind them. You see the 12, you see the 42, you see these guys. And there's just nowhere to go. There's I mean, there are no openings nowhere. on the racetrack whatsoever. Nowhere to go. It, 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 and, and I can't, you can't. You can't imagine setting at home, driving into that at 170 or 80 miles an hour, getting up to speed, but driving into that and not being able to know left or right. And the spotters are way over here. They can't see. They can't tell you where to go either. This is Jeff Burton. Still outside. Two pushing you now. Middle of three. Three. Clear low. Got another wreck. Another wreck. Another wreck. You're clear. Watch it. Watch it. Gordon gets through that. Jeff Gordon, the king of restrictor plate racing. He's won more than any other a dozen times. He's gone to victory lane, six right here at Daytona. Two to go, and he has the race lead. I think he got to wait. I, I don't know where. I would wait until the white flag. If yeah. you had a partner, if you, you had could wait partner. late. If you had a partner. You know, but the thing is, the thing that gets you go. with so this package cool. is. White flag, we nine right on you. Nine right on you. you Maybe right now. <laughs> because you had a run. There they go. Run. Clint Boyer pulls outside, out a line. Harvey outside. pushes him to the lead. Kane coming through. Right. Here comes Kurt Busch. 
They freight train Jeff Gordon off a of turn four. They'll get the white flag this time. It, it, it's hard to figure. Oh, 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 trouble. Hornish oh. out of trouble. He hits the wall. Big right Elliot behind us. Come to the line. Come on. Come on. You're clear. You're clear. Come on. Come on. The come leader on. did not take the white flag, meaning we will get a green-white checker finish. There ain't anybody to have a green-white yeah. checker finish with. This, Boy, 19, 19 went in the wall hard. He yeah. got turned, and boy, he went in hard. Boy, Sam, Sam Hornish went in Jr. pretty hard, too. Yeah. It's been a great bit of this night. Inside the top 10 to the 77, nothing to show pressure. for it. You heard him say, check your oil pressure, man. That was, that was. Coming to the white flag. Looks like the two's drifting up, the zero. Oh, that yeah. thing. 77 just got in there in the middle and, and couldn't hang on to it. Yeah. Yeah. You, but, you know, it's go time. It's go time. Yeah, yeah I mean, two laps to go. You, you've, yeah, you know, if you see a hole there uh, you, and you've got to run, you've got to try to fill it. You see him, he's, he, he gets down in there and he realizes, okay, right here I'm loose. I catch it. I get into the two car and he ricochets and he comes back and takes the two out. This is, and poor Kurt thought he was he was safe at that point in time. These guys behind him did a really good job of, of avoiding. You see, I think it's the 99 that goes down pit road. Uh, he's getting ready to turn right, right here and head down pit road. Uh, that, that was, th these guys hit pretty hard. He, he's got to be disgusted. You know, he's, he's bounced off everything all night long and still had a shot at having a good run yeah. and ran good early in the race. You know, we talked about where they're going to make a move. It's hard to guess with these guys because of the spoiler. This is something they haven't had here. And, and we saw the move made within 300 yards of the start finish line at Talladega. It was in a different place than it had ever been made or than it had been made in a lot of years. So this is a little bit, a little bit different. The late wave around, isn't it? It's Paul Menard driving around the field. <laughs> Either a late wave around or, or he's getting the green. <laughs> he's the lucky dog because he's going to be in a totally different place yeah. on the racetrack when everything happens next time. <laughs> he may win it. <laughs> Daytona, a place of uncertainty. This field been thrown a lot of curveballs tonight. The green white checker finish could provide even more fireworks on this 4th of July. Back under green, overtime at Daytona. Good jump in that outside line right there that time. Yeah, and, and I think uh, Jeff Gordon wants to go. Yeah, Jeff's going with him. I think Jeff's he doing needs to, to pull the, down. I think Jeff's doing to the 33 what what the 29 won the 33. Oh, up on the high side. Oh, Gordon getting aggressive, going big to the outside of Clint Boyer. Now he's going to have a good run too. That's a big move by Jeff right there. Wow, he Great just drove start. right around him. Harvick inherits the lead in that bottom lane. Help from Kane. Oh, oh wow, he gets popped by Boyer. Almost turns Gordon in the wall. Burton able, Gordon rather, able to keep it off the wall. On the bottom lane, getting help from Dale Earnhardt Jr. We got the, you got the 24 and the 9 on the outside. You got two guys that have not been there. This is going to be white flag right here. White flag is out. Kevin Harvick, the race leader. That 29 car is going to get wide here in a minute. Because he's got to stop this momentum of this nine car. Look at the two car up there on the outside. Coming, <laughs> coming, coming. Look at Kurt Busch. He's been involved in wow. the last three cautions. No more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. Kurt nice Bush. Guy right here. Driver number two will not be denied. Here we go. Backing up a little bit. Got the bit behind you. Come on, come on. Keep coming. Keep coming. As of now, we don't have a caution. No caution. We'll see if they let him race back to the line, and it appears they will. And there's no caution because he's so far behind, and there's nobody back there. I'm sorry. Kevin Harvick, the race leader off of turn number four. Casey Kane and Jeff Gordon behind him. Will they make a move? They will not. Harvick wins at Daytona. The two car. They got together right here through the trial, what these guys did, the two and the 71. Um, good run by Bobby Labonte. You got to give him a little credit there. He's top 10 finishes 15, for Reed Sorensen.
Mike Bliss, Scott Speed, and the momentum continues for Dale Earnhardt Jr., fourth tonight. One more look at Clint Boyer, who was the race leader when we went back under green. 33 looked like he kind of bounced off the outside wall and came back across uh, Rudiman's front end. I don't, I don't think Rudiman had anything to do with that at all. Oh, Carl Edwards just shot out of line. Yeah, Carl just sh up the race. Oh, right in front of Bliss right there in the 71. Bliss had no place to go. And after all of that, Kurt Busch finishing seventh tonight. Look at that race car and explain how he comes home seventh at a place like this. Kevin Harvick started on the pole as the point leader after qualifying was rained out. And at the end of the evening, he's the man that will get the trophy in victory lane. 